Welcome back to the show, everyone. We always like to have someone from MEC on because uh, if you think people that love computers are nerds, people that love going outdoors are just as geeky about That's their right. equipment. That's right. Matt Armstrong is joining us now from Mountain Equipment Co-op. How are you, Matt? Really good. Happy to be here. You guys uh, always have so much new stuff. Yeah. Is the term <laughs> gear geek? Is that what it, I can't gear remember? Gear head, gear rat. Yeah, yeah gear rat. All that stuff. <laughs> now, uh, we have all sorts of cool so things uh, to talk about today, and we're going to start with something called the chowl. Tell us what the chowl is and what one can do in it. The chowl is actually many things. It's a pretty impressive product. I mean, first of all, it's a towel. It's like a quick dry towel. It can absorb a lot of moisture. And right now, Mike's got it rolled up. So you can actually have it as a neck pillow. Oh, you could, you yeah. could yeah. wrap it around your neck and have it as a neck pillow. Wow. Uh, now, Mike, you know, maybe going to the beach, wants a little bit of privacy. So you want to change? Do you a can, quick change? It's a change towel. You can get inside the actual towel. Wait, I forget. I've seen it done because, oh, yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Part. There's a hole for your head. You can actually get no, inside. Oh, I go that way. <laughs> dummy. I was like, I can't fit in there. Yeah, you got to go from the, oh, he's there we go. awesome. Um, but you you can use it for changing on the beach, which is fantastic. Exactly. Yeah, the beach is big and it's a long way to the change room, so you can actually get Just inside. Take your pants off. See how it goes. <laughs> uh, so it's a pretty phenomenal thing. And it, as you can see as well, because you're inside of it, it could even be a sleeping bag. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't know it, it can be a sleeping bag too, but what a great thing to bring on a plane to have in your bag just as an extra but blanket. The towel, yeah. Yeah. yeah pack. A plane. Yeah. Or a blanket. Yeah, no, no, or a blanket. It's a great idea. I love this product. I think yeah, it's, a it's brilliant super cool. Idea. Packs down small and it's really versatile. As yeah, you can well, see. and that's the key, right? If you're, especially if you're going. so wrong. If you're going into the backwoods and you want something that can serve multiple purposes. Exactly. Right? Don't try and be serious when you're making movements down there. <laughs> <laughs> and what is this? So, this is like uh, a new. The newest version of our like really famous uh, MEC pod pack, but what they've done this time is they've added uh, a, a waterproof uh, fabric to the outside, and they've even used a waterproof zipper, so it can be That's submerged. That's like a scuba wow. zipper. Yeah, it's like a full scuba zipper there. Like, pull on that. <laughs> So you can get it right open, and anything that's in there is going to be bone dry. And like I said, you can actually submerge it underwater. That's water. so smart. Well, well, for Vancouver. Well, I was going to say, if you're a cyclist and you're commuting, uh, which I see a lot of people do, I mean, mm -hmm. you want something that's... Absolutely, and this fabric is just uh, so durable. Like and light. Can, and light at the same time. And so it makes a lot of sense for a town like Vancouver where it's really wet here nice. okay. all the time. Okay, let's talk about this. These are for the GearHeads Extraordinaire. Absolutely. Uh, what is this for and what does it do? Well, this is called the Joby. It's And they it's modeled off their Gorilla Pods, which is their uh, camera tripods. You right. can actually wrap these little guys around anything. So wrap it around a post <laughs> uh, and wrap it around a tree branch, take a picture. This one actually just happens to be a light. So yeah, it's really, really bright. It's really, really, bright, light. really bright. It's no joke. Uh, even has a strobe function. Watch out there. <laughs> just, in, just in case you're having a party in the woods. Exactly. Right? Maybe a rave. Who <laughs> there knows? you go. But uh, what's also cool about this model here is they've updated it, and there's actually magnets on so the feet. So we've got one uh, on that our... we're going to put on our camera. Put it on there, Ken. There we go. Hey! Yeah. And so now can... it will walk by itself. Exactly. <laughs> so you can put cameras on it, put the light on it. It'll pretty much go anywhere and do anything. Very this cool. is awesome. like such an uber light. Now, tell us about these. We were talking about footwear in our last segment. About yeah, the these are actually really cool. Uh, it's this whole like free running movement that you guys may have heard of. Yeah. And this is like one of the biggest players in the game. It's called the uh, Vibram uh, Five Fingers. Why not five toes? <laughs> you know, we've asked five about digits. that. Five digits. <laughs> exactly. But why would you want to have your toes separated? Well, I think when what it actually basically does is it forces you to use all the muscles in your feet. And yeah. so it promotes better posture, better foot health, uh, especially in this uh, society that we live in where a lot of people are stuck at desks all day. When you're working out or going for your run or doing your outdoor sport activity, it strengthens your whole foot, which strengthens nice. your posture. And gives you the protection of uh, some padding on the bottom if you're running outside or you're walking outside. A absolutely. And it also gives you that feeling of being a kid again, of running in your bare feet, like yeah. running around town and being active in your bare feet without actually hurting yourself. But make Beautiful. sure you know what you're doing before you Make run in these because sure. you might hurt yourself. Absolutely. Yeah, do not run in these until you've spent a long time walking now, in them. Now, this uh, is what? It's a camp stove, and this is called the Jet Boil Flash. So you can tell I do a lot of camping. Yeah. <laughs> and this is... Now, the thing that's special about the Jet Boil is how quickly it can boil water. Absolutely. Like a jet, Fiona. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's fast. And so you can do like two and a half cups of water, like almost 500 milliliters in about two minutes. Wow. Uh, so You're it's kidding. super duper fast. And what's cool about this guy as well is they integrate the sleeve. And I'll just show you here. Frisbee. This, this actual pot can become an actual, like, you can actually eat out of it and, and drink out of it. 
Put a it's got a little it. drink lid there. You can oh. actually hand cup it and have a mass of <laughs> warm beverage there we go. At, Love it. at your disposal. And of yeah, course, it's the, got the sleeve on the outside, so you're not going to burn yourself. Absolutely. To the and jealousy then, of your fellow campers. Exactly. And we actually sell a smaller uh, gas canister. Everything can fit inside. So it all packs down into one small. So the canister goes in, everything? The canister and everything goes right Brilliant. in. Now, this, I want to have one of these for my purse. Tell us about this one. <laughs> this is one of the coolest things that's come along in a really long time. It's called the, uh, the Hanspresso. And it is an espresso machine, <laughs> believe it or not. This is an espresso you machine. You know we've come to So now. how does it work? This Basically, what happens here is you just pop this open, and you add in, if I can do this correctly. Yeah, you put your little... Uh, your hot water. Yeah. Your coffee. You seal it up. You've already pre-pumped and created pressure. And so then you just kind of snap this lid back down. And it's and this is the force spigot. the boiling water through the espresso. Exactly. You just put it in front of your cup. Bada bing, bada bang. Hit the button. What? And like cafe quality coffee <laughs> coming right out of your hands. It's called the hand, hand espresso. It's pretty amazing. That is brilliant. Sold. Yeah, yeah so okay, there. Now, and fits in the purse. <laughs> this, you know, when you're camping, it would make sense to bring a waffle iron. Absolutely. And this one can actually pack down quite small and actually go into your backpack or your boat bag, maybe even into your pod pack there. Right. Back but if you're packing light, it does weigh a little bit. <laughs> it does weigh a little bit. But, you know, but some people really like their waffles. It's a weapon. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, boats and things like that as well. Oh, yeah, but not if you're doing the light. Now, this one, for when you want to bring your iPad with you, if you had one, exactly. you would know. <laughs> what is this? This is exactly what it looks like. It's a, it's a solar charger, and it can actually charge cell phones or iPods, and it has a, a USB dock in the corner. Oh, my God, so, that's so smart. it can actually attach to, like, your iPhone, iPod, iPad, or any other kind of digital media device that has a USB cable. And what's great about this guy here is it rolls up into kind of virtually nothing. Wow. And, and it weighs so, nothing. And it weighs, it weighs nothing. Wow. You and should have that around your house anyway. That's yeah. Cool. Yes. A little emergency kit. Yeah, and what is this it. here? This is kind of neat. This is kind of an interesting, like, it's a lantern. It's an LED lantern, but it has a silicone cup on it. So it can pack up really quite small and disappear into your pack, and it creates great light. But it's a lot of fun because it has a candle mode. Uh -huh. and no. it can, and oh, it, so it flickers it, a little it bit. It flickers like a real candle would, and it has an <laughs> orange or light. That would make me mental. Yeah, and oh. you're not going to burn down your tent at all, and so you get this really True. kind of great natural light uh, that uh, you know isn't dangerous at all wow. inside the tent at all. And what's the last little thing oh, we got here? Vino. What? A little wine glass. <laughs> Hello. Plastic. Yeah, plastic, BPA-free wine glass for nice. when you're, uh, you know, working hard in the back country. You know, MEC's so come a long way. You've got you espresso have... machines and wine glasses. I think it's my kind of place, finally. <laughs> You can have breakfast for dinner. You can, you can have candlelight. You can go to MEC's website uh, to find out all the info. We're going to take a quick break, and when we return...